Alright guys, since we graduated in the lesson of creating number objects, I feel that it is time to move on to string objects now. Much more interesting type of objects, but don't tell number objects I said that. So let's go ahead and in order to create a string object we need ns string class and from that class you go ahead and you know assign it whatever object name you want. I'm going to name my first string s because I'm very creative. And then in order to create a numbers object, go ahead and press equal the at sign and two double quotation marks. So anything you type in here, like uh, cats, my keyboard's shaking, hold on, let me, cats don't like, uh, let's see, bananas, I guess, let's see, but chocolate, I don't know how to spell chocolate though, do I even know how to spell bananas? Is bananas B A N A N A S. There we go. Thank you, Gwen Stefani, for that. And let's go ahead and type any string. And you also, for the purpose of this tutorial, NS string, you're going to want another string and tester, but don't set this to equal to anything else yet. We're just going to need this later on. So, what's the most basic thing we can do with a string object? Well, NS log that stuff as always. And check this out. You know how like percent I is to print out integers and percent F is to print out floats? Well percent at sign is to print out any type of object. So let's go ahead and print out string object right there. So check this out. Cats don't like bananas. B A N A N A S. So anyways, this goes ahead and prints out a string object. Now I said percent a that can print out any type of object like even a dun 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 number objects so let me go ahead number ns number uh, let's go ahead and put like star just name it n or something easy and now let me go ahead and make a number object real quick number number with integer and let's go ahead and put 120 right in there because I mean why not so now let's go ahead and just copy this paste that crap below it and why does everything move when I copy it like that and now go ahead and print out a number object so as you can see cats like bananas 120 we got a fine looking program going on but anyways the point I'm trying to demonstrate is you're not only limited to printing out one type of object percent a means you can print out any type of object you can possibly imagine so go ahead and delete that because we don't need it anymore we're here to talk about strings that was just a little example so let's go ahead and I might as well show you some of the cool methods that you can do with strings. So at, let's go ahead and get rid of that. The first thing that you can do is there's a method to calculate the length of a string. Now this is probably one of the most common ones. So length of string is percent %i and as that integer variable just go ahead and type your string and call a method called length on it. Now the cool thing length is a built in method so check this out length of string is 22 and the cool thing about this I mean it's not really that cool but whenever you're calculating the length of a string spaces count as well so check this out 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 30 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 bam so that's just to explain that spaces count as well so now what we want to do is call another method that is pretty common and this is where that tester came in handy so remember this tester is a string object that's not equal to anything what we want to do is copy the contents of string s into tester so the formula or not the formula the method for this is ns string a method from the ns string class and its string with string replace a string with a string and replace s and now you take s and copy it into tester so now we're gonna have two identical strings pretty much so ns log that stuff at and just go ahead and put like copy string is percent a tester and let's go ahead and see if we messed up oh no we didn't copy string is cats don't like banana so that is how you get a copy using the string with string and what that means is replace this string with the contents in this string. Whoever came up with that name is very clever, but they made it super long, them idiots. So anyways, 
the last method I want to teach you and again I'm just teaching you some really common methods there's like a million not literally probably a couple hundred but I'm just teaching you the most common ones um, let's go ahead and take that tesser method I mean tesser string and let's go ahead and set it equal to the old string but upper case the string so what tesser is going to be equal to is this string s which is cats don't like bananas uppercase pretty cool huh so now let's go ahead and ns log that stuff and set it equal to like uppercase is percent a and let's just print out tester again so build and run that and check this out uppercase is cats don't like bananas easy computer program so I mean what I want to do is just introduce you to the basics of string and some of the methods that you can call on them again there's also a lot of methods about like you can compare tester to s and see which one is less than greater than if they're equal to each other but I mean that takes way too many if statements to type that but I mean these are pretty much the most common methods that we're going to be using if I build a computer program later on where I'm going to need another method um, then I'll explain that one as the time allows I guess you could say that so uh, the cool thing about this is that each of these strings once you set it equal to something I mean you can't really change it the only way you can change it is explicitly set it equal to something else and these are called I forgot what they're called like unmutable or something anyways you can't change these strings you can't like take the word case out and make it a new string so we learn how to make unmutable strings but there's also mutable strings that means changeable strings and I know this may be confusing right now but that's probably what we're gonna be going over in the next tutorial it's a whole different type of string and uh yeah it's a whole lot more dynamic string so uh you know I guess enough talking about in this tutorial we'll wait for that for the next tutorial so thank you guys for watching if you want any of this code gun copy it put it in my forum link below so uh thank you one last time don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys later